All right, I think we're good to go. Hey, Internet. This is Nate. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the original trilogy. Uh, we are on episode two, day two. We got to start looking for this man who uh, was staying with the girl who was a big fat liar with the pink hair. So let's kick it off. All right, April. Yeah, no, we will put you in danker places if needed. <laughs> the dankest of places for the pinkest of hair. It's really quite moving. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to die. Not today. Uh, yeah, I will laugh at you. Nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough? Spiky head. Oh my god, hit me with the big insults. You're scaring the security guard. All right. Anything to examine here? Is the guard actually stressed? Hmm. All right, let's talk to her. Hey, Owl Stronautical, how's it going? <laughs> Something to get her to talk. Hmm. Why did she put a wiretap on his phone? something to her. So we have to leave. We'll need to find something we can use later. Uh, let's go back to the hotel. Wow. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. I was fantastic. Nice. Reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. Hey, Papa Chero, how's it going? Charge a premium. Nice. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Oh my god. Okay, let's examine the room a little bit more. The drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. Oh my god. saw a telescope. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink. saw her. She'd do it, I said. <laughs> huh. Huh. What, what, do what, bellboy? What were you thinking she would do? Oh, man. We both carry the scent of danger. Wait, is it him? Huh. Okay. This hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle, the Gatewater Hotel Murder Manor. 
Dude, this is fun. I've never played Ace Attorney before, so I've been enjoying playing this for the first time. Whatever floats your tea set. Okay. Um... Okay. Okay, so we got nothing from him. Um, let's go back to our law offices. Okay, let's examine. Here's our plant. Okay, there's our picture frame. Our poster, movie poster. Hey, Oxino, how's it going? Hmm, that's so sad. <gasps> Wait, some of the files are missing. Wait, can I move? Can I... wait. Options. Can I... can I move areas? Yeah, I'm not... oh, I'm not... I'm not huge at drawing or good at drawing, so I'm not probably the best person to talk to about drawing. I guess I can go back to the Grossberg Law Offices. <gasps> wait, we can eat. Oh, wait! This is the guy! Ah. Okay. That's the girl! That's the girl without her wig on. Nice. So I can't take both photos at the same time. I'll have to do it one at a time. Hey, MJ, how's it going? Wait, his big thing is gone. It was a painting of a fisherman. Okay. Desk is really nice. All right, so we got the photo. Let's go back to the hotel and confirm. Nate is blocking the faces. Well, too bad. You don't get to see the faces. This is the face. Wait a minute. No, it's not him. He doesn't have a butt chin. Detective once, you know how it is. Oh, no, I don't. Interesting. That is the man who checked in with Miss April May. This guy is way too excited about it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, we have an affidavit. Then... We can move... Back to the detention center. Okay, here we go. Talk to her about that man. Hmm. Nice! Yeah, the affidavit is going to be very important just to get her to react. ease her fears. Oh my god. Let's do it. Hey, Agor, how's it going?
Okay, so then what we can do... Okay, here we go again. Quite the thing. Oh, he's very impressed with the trial. Was he that thin when he was my age? Is this what I have to look forward to in my old age? Scent of life. Oh my god. It was a bit too much for me for boy seeing you today. I will. I... Oh my god. Okay, let's talk to him. Me and sister, the poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Who is the victim and suspect in this case? The victim is the chief of the, or the head of the legal department. And then the current suspect was the sister, but now we know it's not the sister. Well, we knew who it was from the start because the, the game always shows you who it actually was. It's the guy with purple hair. We just gotta figure out a way to pin it on him. See what he knows. Excuse me. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's similar to like uh if you ever watched uh what is his name? Peter Falk. Uh Columbo. Columbo was the same way where you saw the murderer at the beginning, and then it was how was Columbo going to trap this person into either admitting that they're the murderer, or getting caught in the murder. Mr. Red White. Oh my god, it's red, white, and blue. Pres oh, red, white, and blue. <laughs> blue Corp. Huh. Information pros, they sell information. It's all about the information! The blackest reputation of any man in the country. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Legion, how's it going? Okay, so we can now go find Mr. White. But the other girl in the photo was definitely her, with darker hair. Okay, here we go. Blue Corp it is. Oh my god. <gasps> there's the there's the painting! Oh my god, this guy looks like the biggest prick I've ever seen. <laughs> what a weirdo. Corporate expansion official. That's not what it stands for. 
nightmare to translate this game because every name is a pun. <laughs> That's true. Like Mr. Saw It. What a fruitcake. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you're pretty fresh out of law school, are you not? What business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Okay. Examine the painting. No, it's just anything but originals. That right there is worth a bona f Oh my god. Okay, so we know that's where the painting went now. Best participation. The judges cooperation. Special good try prize. Judges and special. Interesting. Okay. This is really weird. Oh my god, this guy is like such a prick. Okay, let's uh talk to him. She was my secretariat. That's called a secretary. Hey to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does get information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. I'm pretty sure that's not the correct way to use that word. <laughs> Such as time and place. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Mere toys, play things for my amusement. Secretary was a racehorse? Oh my god, MJ. <laughs> Various kinds of information! It's all about the information! Inconceivable! <laughs> Who would sell information? Certainly not some of the most profitable companies that are uh, around right now. They would never sell information. That would be wrong. Uh, okay. Named after the color blue. Red White of Blue Corp, as its founder CEO, named it so. And that's why? Because I like the color blue, of course. But he's purple. And tabulistic. Oh my god. You have fully grasped your position here. I ask again, who are you? A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zippo nada. Oh my god. He just beat me up? He did punch me! Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. But let's go talk to Grossberg real quick. <laughs> it is a big mess, my friend, and you're right in the middle of it. And it stinks. The big painting. Yeah. 
Yeah, explain yourself. It did turn really creepy in a not funny way. I agree with that. He's blackmailing you. Oh, snap. Holy crap. We're gonna get the big, the big aha moment now. Fifteen years, holy crap. DL6 incident. Oh, that's with the mom. Interesting. Nigh impossible. Watch me. Interesting. Okay, it's 15 years ago now. She's a request from a medium. <gasps> Misty Fay! Mia's mother. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Interesting. To the offices. We're gonna find it. It's her files. It's all in her files. It's we need D. Read it. Oh, interesting. surfaced. Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer. Okay, we learned that. Parasite. Me and you, Grossberg. Okay, let's look in the others. Suicide. Okay. God, it's getting even bigger. Oh, the rabbit hole goes deep. Oh my God. T through Z. <gasps> okay, the white section is missing. We got it. Where do we go now? Okay. Then we go back to Blue Corp. This one. Same game over two days. <laughs> Quiet, 14.
Well, I'll say you're right. Oh my god, it's time. God, this is going to be excellent. We're going to crush this man in court. The killer, man. Hold it! <laughs> hey, Ludwig. I'll defend myself, you pompous ass. And I'll take that ass and throw it to where it'll be open season. <laughs> All right, let's go. Imagine if real trials worked like this. Oh my god. Here we go. It's time. Yeah. They think it's me. Well, they're gonna they're gonna be uh told it's me. Oh, but I've got other plans. Defend me in court. <laughs> oh my god. Possibility that uh, I can be the murderer. Oh, that's why the court's this way. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to take him down. To be continued. Immediately. <laughs> All right, day three trial. This is it. All or nothing. <laughs> Interesting. This is a good question. I thought this guy was all about justice. What? Oh, snap.
Okay, here we go. So we're gonna have to get the guy to object on his own client. Oh, I'm up to this. I have to get him to say something that they will say is true no matter what, and it will be... Let it go. We're gonna let it go. We gotta get him to say something bad. CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. I did not. Okay. Here we go. Here's the testimony. Now, I think I'm gonna... We'll find holes in his testimony. That's not gonna be the problem. I think the way we're gonna have to win it, though, is to get him to actually say something that incriminates himself in part of his testimony, and that will... They said that everything he said will be considered true, so if he himself incriminates himself, then I think we can win. Or we somehow appeal the other lawyer to help us. Some papers by the window. Bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. And to say that man was other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Thomas May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. Victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. It was a terrible impaction, then it was all over. Okay, hold on. So what do we want to try to get him with? Okay, that's fine. Some papers by the window. Heard a bedlam coming from outside. Okay, there wasn't anything there. Okay, that's probably fine. She tapped the wall phone of this Fay woman. Interesting. Okay. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left.
you gave chase and struck her down. Okay. Then we can present this. Who reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor? Oh, shit. Wait, what? I thought that was a contradiction. Okay. Outside. I heard a look at the building across the way. It was then I saw a spiky man attacking with long hair. Other than you, Mr. Lawyer, I called Mr. over at once. She too was surprised, of course. The victim ran to the left, and you gave chase. Scene would have also done the same thing, but I was wrong. I did show the floor plans! What the fuck, game? <laughs> God damn it! Both are right. Offices, of course. Oh, oh, oh. oh, people are shocked. He was standing here. Take that! Take that! Yeah. Exactly. Objection. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to testify again. Is your PFP meant to resemble Shaggy? No, it's an actual picture of me. It's an actual picture of me holding pizza, and uh, then we had my sister-in-law do a cartoon art of it. Murmur, 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 murmur. <laughs> Let's hear your revised testimony. All right, here we go. Correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her, savagely, that's what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. I chased her and delivered the final blow. But that contradicts what actually happened. You bet I will. So, she can't have gotten hit twice because it says that she only got hit once. Let me check this. 
She first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. changes their testimony from what they uh, did in an affidavit or in um, a deposition, they will remove them or they will have the witness come off the stand and then they will re-deposition the witness before they bring them back on the stand again. I think that's kind of how this is supposed to work. Speedy justice for all. <laughs> Rules don't matter. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. She dodged. And then she turned and ran for the door. for it. I looked at the other window. The glass light stand. Yeah, very odd. You saw the glass light stand. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Hold on, a light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Wait a minute. Haha, -ha, you fool! The sand broke when into pieces when it fell. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. When exactly. Answer the question. Saw the stand before it fell over. So you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then. Correct, that would be no problemo, right? Hmm. Big problemo! 
Let me make sure you have this straight. You saw the glass light through, stand through the oh, the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct. That is so conclusive to end it unteachable. Possibly. You couldn't have seen the stand. Why couldn't he have? Person in the hotel could not see the stand before it fell over because of the layout of the rooms. Oh my god, we got him. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Gateway Hotel, as you claim, you could have not seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it either after it fell, after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the law offices! You were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place! You absolute buffoon! Also, couldn't this just be solved by the fact that Mia, not Mia, sorry, Maya could just testify that I wasn't in the room when she found her sister? Like, this the, the, this couldn't have even gotten this far, because there's an eyewitness that saw me come in after. So it would have been impossible for me to have gotten there, killed her, left, had Maya come without seeing me, come back into the room, like, it, it, was, it wouldn't have worked because of the timing. Mr. Your Honor, I, Miss Mia, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? I said you should confess your crime. There we go. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Please explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is said it. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Ms. May, Miss Faye. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. <laughs> yes, in order to replace the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Company law offices. That is when I saw the accursed light stand. Oh my god. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would have would have uh, you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place, when he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the last light then. There go, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the basis conjecture that it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Oh, we are gonna fuck him up. Ah, uh, leave it to me. I feel faint. <laughs> The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Company law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm, so you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Good luck, Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Let me think. Beginning of September, the week before the murder. Let me see what I have. Look at this. Okay, we, got, we gotta just... Ask him about this. Do you have proof? Do the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves the wiretap was placed before the murder. 
Okay, that's true. Was it really you that went, or was it Miss Fang? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fang Company offices. Those were obviously Mrs. White's. Hmm, okay, that's fire. Why did you tap her phone? Responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Light stand was made entirely out of glass. Hmm. Can I get him to bluff something out of him? Never give up, Phoenix. I mean, out of all the things, Ludwig, I think uh, the perjury is the least of the problems of the attorney. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. Wait, she's as busty as her. Oh my god. She's a real medium. In this world, spirits are true. <laughs> Famous department store. What does not about big spender item? Glass light stand. We got him. Oh my god, we're gonna crush this man. Okay. Can I figure that out without channeling the spirit? Because I kind of thought about the receipt, but... Let us give Mr. Wright his, uh, no, oh, you're gonna go down, asshole. Objection. Look at the other side of the receipt. Did you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Well, a glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. Oh my god! You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Faye and Company losses on the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Oh my god! We killed him! <laughs> He's losing it. I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Oh no. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Oh my god, it continues! <laughs> There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. 
However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. Any time to make one- Oh my god. Oh my god. Object. You were only allowed three days. List of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Read the names. Case closed. Get fucked, asshole. <laughs> oh, the puns. Not guilty. Shower me with praise. And we only made one mistake, and it wasn't even really a mistake, because I ended up using that evidence anyway, but it's fine. We did it. I just love how she gets more cleavage when she's channeling Mia. <laughs> embarrassing. Maya! No longer has cleavage now that she's back to being Maya. She wrote you a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Huh? Oh! She's gonna be our secretary! Some interesting plans for her sister. <laughs> Time to get down to business, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, tag this adults only from here on out. <laughs> What's your favorite turnabout? We're partners. 
I guess that's fair. It is Maya's fault I'm here now, but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right and company lobsters. That's got a good ring to it. Yeah, thanks, Maya. <laughs> good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. That's even creepier. Maya's gonna get down to business, and Mia's gonna stay and watch. <laughs> Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Time's a-wasting. Let's go. We did it! Crushed it. How many chapters is it per game? A brand new episode has been added. Oh my god, what is this episode though? Episode 3. We'll start it off to end in uh, probably about 30 minutes or so, but we can start this one. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. It's a samurai fight! I guess it's a TV show. Or a movie being filmed. It's gonna be like the classic, somebody died on set because they used real weapons and they're figuring out who it was. God, they're gonna go crazy when it's fallen, but who? The only the moon knows. Okay, so it's a TV show. Oh. See you in hell, evil magistrate. <laughs> Samurai! Oh my god, he's impressive. Ten years old. Oh man, that's made the last ending of the last episode very disturbing. She's only 17. <laughs> oh my. We might go back to court for other reasons. Time to go close up the office. Wish we had some clients. Talk the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the riot and company law offices. How am I supposed to pay the rent? I need a case. We gotta get a case, guys. We've got no money. About to get weird. The Steel Samurai got arrested. He killed a villain. That's what I said. It's going to be like uh, they swapped the props and then he died. Is that what he's supposed to do? He actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with a samurai spear. <laughs> Told you. Told you guys. This is like super classic. There's an episode of like this in The Mentalist. There's an episode like this in Psych. There's an episode like this, I think maybe even in like Law and Order. Maybe in Suits as well. Well, Suits, they don't really do murder cases. Probably not Suits. But in a lot of like detective shows, there's the swap the prop and somebody dies situation. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, New Old Tokyo. Jack Hammer, the evil magistrate. So maybe 
maybe it wasn't a swap prop situation. Maybe it was just somebody got killed off scene or like out of like yeah, in between scenes. <gasps> it's the Steel Samurai. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be his lawyer. Who would have thought? Oh, I can't examine her. <laughs> Show her the badge. <laughs> I do like showing it off. <laughs> Let's go to the detention center. Wow, that guy's furry. At least once, maybe twice. Uh, oh, this is funny. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Nemesis, also welcome. Oh. He didn't do it. All right. Can we examine him? We can't. Oh, we can talk to him, though. It actually was only yesterday. Okay. Okay, okay. Run through, good. Yeah, 10 a.m. in the morning, good, good. Rehearsal for five, yeah, yeah. Video gather, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's found, crumpled in a heap, yeah, okay, very normal. Took off his mask, yeah. Discovered he was dead. Okay, good, yeah. Secured with the staff or with the spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The steel samurai uses that spear as a weapon. Okay, makes sense. I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally. All, I'm following. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna get embarrassed now. Been out of touch. Still Samurai is a lead character popular kid show. He walks the streets of Neo Tokyo, fighting battle after battle. He the magistrate his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the magistrate, although I guess he did defeat him this time. Oh, not a good time for jokes, friend. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Who comes with these names? The power... Okay, what's your alibi? Came to the studios at 9. Worked through some action scenes. A little tired. Oh, yeah, I'm a little tired. Took a nap. I was late for the rehearsal. Heard the studio, found everyone looking in shock. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. Interesting. Let me take out the scene of the murder. Excellent, let's go. The studio! Global Studios Main Gate. Get it? It's like Universal Studios, but it's Global Studios. Steel Samurai. I'm so hyped. You gotta get through me. It's an old bag. That's a really, really offensive name. <laughs> I'm security, and it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Oh my god, she's just gonna talk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, stop it! <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> Can I examine her? Okay. 
Big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. There's a van. Okay, let's talk to her. really downhill 10 years ago now the studio of dreams interesting the evil magistrate now he's just a villain as so many famous stars become as they get older their lunch. Ah, I didn't think he looked that bad. I know everything. That's my job. We'll live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. Dynamite Samurai! Oh, dang. They were paying him peanuts. Oh my god. I bet he got paid better than most people do, though. I was here from 1 to 5 when they found the body. Okay, so if you want to go to the studio, you have to get past me. Only one person went here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. That person was Mr. Powers. Austin's cousin, yes. He was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. But wait. Wait a minute. He was probably dressed up. If he was dressed up, it would have looked like him, but he was just wearing the suit. Okay, let's go get a letter of request. We'll go back and get a letter of request from him. I need to get a letter of request. Yeah, somebody asked him to have been wearing the costume. She just saw him in costume. <laughs> Excellent, now we've got the uh, request. Now we can get in. Security guard station. Okay, not bad. Oh, she is pissed. Okay. So now we can go to outside studio one. Let's check out the scene of the crime. Hey! Oh my god. <laughs> oh snap! Maya's bringing the heat. good to be reflective sometimes and recognize that it is all your fault. 
That's what I tell myself. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you doing here? We're on the case too. You can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. Got the autopsy report. Pierced through a chest by a spear at 2.30. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Entered at 1 p.m. After that, there were no other... Okay. Okay. But it's gonna be that he was in the suit. There's cameras everywhere, though. Ah, yeah, she likes authority figures. Okay, what's the decisive evidence? That's right, it's a steel samurai! But again, it's just because it's he's in the suit. Okay. ST1307. Okay, ST1307 is going to be important. <laughs> oh, interesting. Show her our badge. Oh, damn. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. You went to the studio just before one, we're having 2.30, and of course the same as Connors and Zell's security guard. Okay. Interesting. Okay. It was great as the bearded samurai. Okay, let me examine the computer. No, we can't. Hmm. Could go to the employee area. Okay. Take a look around real quick. A T-bone. Hmm. 
I would also eat a T-bone. Okay, keep all the film equipment. Samurai Soda. Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> oh my god. Into the dressing room we go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we got someone who's a, a huge samurai show nerd. <gasps> nice! We get the card key. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay, so now... Ooh, nice tea set. Let's go back to the employee area. Let's move back to the main gate. Let's move back to outside Studio One. And then let's now get inside Studio One. Nice, we're in. Now we can move there. Kind of would like if I could just move to anywhere. It's annoying you have to go one at a time. <laughs> Doesn't give you the shivers. So real. Okay, let's examine. Oh, nice. Hello. Assistant, okay. She seems nice and seems too small to be the murderer. Okay. We can examine this light. No clues there. We can examine the ladder. Okay, there's the director's chair. Nice. Nice. Ooh, a giant whiteboard. Oh, reflecting, okay. And then we can look at the body, okay. Yeah, let's talk to her now. In the studio the whole day, assistant on staff, only one assistant. Studio's not doing so well. Oh, awkward. Only rehearsal. Went through the action sequences. They were there with everybody else. The employee area is where the dressing room is. So that's the place. After eating, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. He had the stakes! Uh, Will Powers went into his dressing room. I didn't see them after that. Okay. I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. It's private. What kind of girl do you think I am? I 
know you're busy. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Clue, a lead. The day, just this afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Oh my God, we've got a huge break in the case. Wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I have any better information than that? Oh, okay, interesting. How did you sense them? Okay. Let's go talk to the security lady again. Oh, the suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of death was 2.30. Are you sure the power is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. This is thinks there was someone from outside here on that day. Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh no, I can't even read this. She's just gonna go off. <gasps> Let's examine the computer. Try it. Let's do it. STI-307 is the one. See, it's the Steel Samurai, it's not Powers. Photo number two! That's strange. Gotta be then a photo number one. And this is where we're gonna have to end. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I then this game is fun. I love it. I'm really enjoying myself. I hope you guys are enjoying too. And I will see you guys next time. See you later. Peace.